questions that may occur on our end. I also wanted to note to everyone that closed captioning is available for today's session. To enable closed captioning, you just click on the closed captioning button that's found on the bottom of your screen and then select the show subtitles option. And just as a standard disclaimer, the information provided by speakers is for informational use only and any products mentioned during this presentation does not imply any endorsement by the National Ataxia Foundation. And on another note, uh, questions for our speakers can be typed in the chat and that's found at the bottom of your screen and uh, questions can be submitted now uh, and throughout the session. And once we get to the Q&A portion of the session, we'll try to answer as many of your questions as we have time. Now I'm really excited to introduce today's speakers and members of the Ataxia community, uh, Liam Doherty, Kate Leader, and Hannah Shu. Our speakers will be talking about Day Undefined, which is an online marketplace for adaptive products. So welcome Liam, Kate, and Hannah. And Liam's now gonna start us off with the presentation today. Uh, um, thanks so much, Laurie. And, uh, and it's great to see so many pieces um, in, the, in the room here. Um, so um, brief intro, my name is Liam Doherty. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. I'm a 30-something white male with uh, a scruffy uh, uh, brown hair, and I'm also a Mexican dude. Um, and I, I, you know, I thought this is a kind of a good example of, um, you know, the, the honesty uh, that we're trying to bring to the landscape. Um, I'm, uh, I'm still waiting on a tooth, but, you know, dis disability is not pretty. Um, sometimes it's something we live with, and I'm sure everyone here knows. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I have a dice here, and um, I fell and hurt my tooth, and I'm uh, I'm still here and talking to you, so it's uh, it's good to be here. Ne next time. Hi, and also thank you so much, Nav, for um, for letting us be here and and present. Um, so uh, day of the fight, we we know that nobody day is the same, and that every person has different experiences and purposes. Um, that's why we are creating an online store that um, curates reviews um, for everyday products um, based on the real experiences of individuals with physical disabilities. Um, really a priority of this, you know, undercurrent of the home project is, um, to, you know, capture the um, real and authentic experience of, of living with a disability. And we feel like it's not really um, captured uh, so far, and we really um, want to bring that to the disability community. Um, next slide. Hi, everyone. My name is Kate, and I am a white woman in my mid-30s with blonde hair. Uh, a quick shout out to my sister, Jen, who's also on this call. Um, Jen is really um, uh, the, well, my sister really helped us think of this idea for Day Undefined um, because of her shopping experiences and wanting more real insights into the products that she was looking for. So um, yeah, hi to Jen. And uh, I also want to say that what you're seeing here on the screen is a snapshot of our website, um, one of the pages on our website. Um, this is the heart of what we're doing. It's products, reviews, blogs, um, and we have two goals with the products that we're putting up here. One is that all products are recommended or reviewed by somebody from the disability community who has actually used that product and can speak to it. Um, and two, that all products have real images or a video associated with them or um, connected to them on the page so that um, you can see what that product looks like in real life or, um, um, or watch a real experience and gain information into that product um, that you might not otherwise get. 
Um, we realized that there are many variations of these products. Um, there are many brands, price points, places to buy them. And we hope that you'll find what works for you. Um, the ones that we are putting on our website are ones that have been personally recommended or reviewed. Um, and so there's an experience with them, but we're always expanding and we're always looking to include other products. So this is by no means um, a set selection. Um, we're really, we're young and we're growing. Um, I want to uh, make uh, a couple of notes here quickly um, that are really important. We are not medical professionals. Um, nothing in this session or on our website should be taken as medical advice. Please always consult your healthcare professional for advice or questions regarding your health. We are individuals who have physical disabilities or have loved ones with physical disabilities. And we wanna share real insights and experiences into products that might be of particular use to others who have ataxia or disabilities of some type. We have not been paid to promote any products in this presentation. Um, however, if you do choose to purchase a product through the links on our website, we may receive a small commission due to our status as an Amazon associate. Um, we're an Amazon associate right now for two main reasons. And we share a lot of products through Amazon because that's where we often find really competitive prices, um, good prices of these products. And also because if you buy a product through that link, then we know that you're buying the product and it helps us to make sure that we're providing products that are of real interest to the, to the communities. Um, and with that, I will pass it back over to uh, Liam to talk about our team. Yes, they, they can. Um, so first of all, I just um, had a show will be uh, speaking uh, fairly, um, very soon. Uh, Hannah is part of our review team. And we have sort of uh, pictures here. Um, you know, we're obviously hoping to kind of grow our, our project. So um, um, more on that later. But um, yeah, I, I want to know too that um, we, we have diverse voices on our review team, um, not only sort of in different demographic groups, but also in terms of different um, uh, different abilities, different types of disabilities, different ability standards. Um, I think one of the another sort of undercurrent uh, for us is that this a product is not uh, perfect for everyone. There is no perfect product. Um, and so it's really important that you see, um, you know, this specific individual and you can, you know, see, see yourself with your abilities through those eyes. So, um, and next slide. Um, yeah, so, so um, I thought um, as a way to sort of introduce our idea, so um, this is a blog I wrote, The X Y Dilemma. Um, this is a blog I wrote on uh, thinking around uh, making myself coffee. Um, I was trying to find the closest way to approximate how the average able-bodied person brewed their coffee. Instead of first thinking of trying to, uh, instead of first think, trying to think of what I ultimately wanted. And, and I wanted coffee. Um, yeah, I, I think um, I, you know, I, as an example, get, got really caught up in the process. i um, thinking about, you know, maybe if I knew a French press this certain way and then, and, and then I spilled the French press with hot water inside and I gave myself a really bad burn and, um, and, I kind of went back to the drawing board and thought about, um, you know, the ultimate outcome um, or, uh, of, of the project was, of, of making coffee was coffee. Um, and, you know, started there and worked backwards. And I think that is really essential to our perspective. I think Hannah had uh, a brief thing to say here too. Hannah, did you want to add a few words about the experience uh, here? 
Yes, I think uh, for, for me, really, uh, you know, to be part of the review team uh, is really a, a good experience uh, for me. You know, um, everyone's day is different. And uh, we have good days, we have bad days, and, uh, and uh, uh, but these little tools uh, I, I found in the review uh, team and also some personal device I use, I think that will make our day different. So um, yeah, I just uh, being part of the review team and uh, I'm very, very, very glad that I can share my experience. Thank you. So now we're going to go ahead and launch into the products that we want to share with you today. Uh, the first one that we have up is called the Aki Automatic Toothpaste Dispenser and Toothbrush Holder. Um, this review is on up on our website. All of these products are on our website. And I will add that what you're seeing here is a condensed version of the review. And we're also going to play um, clips and demonstrations of many of these products. Uh, um, but many of them are shorter and you can find full longer versions on our website as well. Um, this review though was done by Erica and you can learn more about Erica on our website, but she was actually our first member of our review team and does awesome reviews um, covering the good things and the bad things about products. But she really likes this product um, and what she um, uh, really likes about it is that um, what you see there on, on the left-hand side of the screen is a toothpaste dispenser um, and a toothbrush holder. So there's a little hole there and um, you can insert your toothbrush into that hole and push and it releases toothpaste. Um, there are no batteries, it's not uh, Wi-Fi or anything, but it is a, a mechanism that helps release um, toothbrush right onto your tooth, uh, toothpaste right onto your toothbrush. Um, it can be fixed to the wall at any height um, using two sticky strips, um, so there's no wall damage, um, and it has a little cubby in it and can hold some um, toothbrushes and things. And what you see on there are actually two small cups, and the one hanging from the bottom is magnetic, so it, it just kind of magneti magnetically holds right on there. Um, of course, there are considerations. You still have to put a toothbrush into a quite a, a small hole, um, and um, you might need assistance with the installation as well, um, which uh, for, for this, this slightly larger item. Um, but I don't have to uh, say more about it because we're gonna show you a short demonstration of this product um, in a video uh, with Erica. So um, this is really great because I come from a household of mixed disabilities. Um, so this works for our household, um, for both of us, for myself and my fiance. Um, what's really great is for, to start, check this out. So you've got your toothpaste, you've got your uh, headband on, you're ready for the day, you are got uh, everything you need out. So all you have to do is you wet your toothpaste, you come over here, and then all you do is just place it inside and you push. And then voila, you have your toothpaste. So Erica goes on to describe the other features of the toothbrush and tooth uh, holder and toothpaste dispenser. Um, but there you have a demonstration of how it works. Um, and I can add that the, tooth um, the toothpaste tube, you take off the lid of the tube and then you sort of screw it down into the top of that. Um, but again, she goes into all those uh, details in the longer review on our website. Now I'm gonna pass it over to Liam to do our next two products. Sorry. So, um, Sorry, Liam, just a second there. No there we go. This is a really great product. Um, yeah, the, I think I do also want to note that, um, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a project really like this. And 
we've all really had our eyes peeled for this sort of thing. And a lot of times, you know, there's a um, uh, physical therapist or occupational therapist that has certain products that are useful for some people. Um, and But uh, focusing on everyday things allows us to, um, you know, kind of think holistically about the disability life and what people used and what they could use um, and bringing, um, yeah, authentic voices and to that experience is, I think, something that no one has done before. And I, I really hope um, a lot of people will benefit. Um, so uh, here we have the uh, Pet Libro Automatic Pet Feeder. Um, I have one in my living room over there. You might hear it go up during, during this presentation. Um, and some of the pros, um, it saves time and attention. Um, we, you know, when uh, feeding my cat three times a day automatically um, and is uh, programmable so I can decide when the feedings are and how much uh, my cat recount get. Um, and the lid on top of the cat is easy to open and close. Um, and in, the, in this main container, I mean, it's, it's sort of a, a vat for a dry cat food that you can pour in. And so, so you don't have to worry about dishing out cat food every uh, couple, couple of times a day. And um, as far as cats, the, the buttons um, do interface with the product are kind of small um, and can be difficult to program um, from a wheelchair if it's on the floor. Um, again, you know, because the buttons are so small. And, and the display itself, you can see here, it's kind of smaller. Um, and then, you know, sort of frustratingly, the display does lock. Uh, if you uh, have an interact with it for a short period of time, um, uh, which, you know, can be tricky and frustrating when you uh, have trouble um, pressing the button. And um, you, you obviously still need to fill a large container uh, with dry cat food, I think, uh, every few weeks we get through a different one. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, it's kind of both sides of, of, of the pen leader. Uh, next slide. And here we have my demonstration. Your, your nails in there, and then um, you put the cat food in here. Um, I have kind of a, a scoop that I just uh, scoop from the cat bag to the this um, um, container part here. Um, and one other thing that occurred to me in looking this over is the lid is square, um, so that means it fits. Um, however, you want to put it on. It's kind of nice. It's kind of reminiscent of when I had a front tube. <laughs> you, you can see there. Uh, and, and then uh, the, the pet feeder in action. And that's my wife's voice. Um, that is three times a day calling. I feel um, like we need to play that one more time, Liam, just because it's a cute um, cat. He's a, he a cutie. And the other gives in a few pets um, in, in the web, webinar here as well. Um, and you, you guys have some cuties also. Uh, ne and next time. Sorry. No, no. There we go. 
Yeah, so, so this actually I have, I'm using right now. Um, this is the uh, Red Dragon Mechanical Keyboard. Um, and it's pretty cheap, $30 on Amazon for, for something that I've used for um, probably four years now. Um, as uh, most mechanical keyboards, um, there's a loud sound um, when you press keys, which the auditory feedback uh, makes it easier for me to type without um, accidentally pressing things. Um, and, and also, um, because they're a little harder, I, it does help with my typing accuracy. Um, it's backlit also to, um, you know, uh, make, it, make it easier to see um, which keys I have on, my fingers are on, and what ones I'm pressing. Um, and the keys are, I have a space between them. Um, it's a full-sized keyboard. Um, a lot of keyboards these days are major. Um, and so um, it's going to sort of a bigger uh, target. Um, and cons, it does have large uh, long wire, um, which can get in the way when you're moving or, or um, if, if you, um, if, if that is difficult for you. Um, and the keys are, to, are a little harder to press, so it, it may slow you down that way. And uh, I think I'm going to turn it over now to Hannah to walk us through two more. Actually, first, sorry, Hannah, one minute. We have the demonstration here. I'm so and, sorry. Uh, and then we'll pass over to Hannah. Sure. Thank you. I'm not not sure exactly what to type there, but um, you you can see I'm not a fast timer, but um, it really does help me that the have the sound help me be more accurate. And uh, you can, and I'll pass it over to Hannah over next. Right. Next thing. Thank you, Liam. And uh, I I don't have a cute cat, <laughs> but I have a cute kid. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a son. Uh, actually, my son uh, uh, live in California, uh, not far from San Francisco. Uh, my son now is uh, nine years old. A few years ago, uh, when he was uh, four or five, you know, I was trying to feed him water in the morning, but uh, because my ataxia uh, condition, and also my coordination problem. There's no way I can bring water to him. By the time I bring water, I have already spilled water and create a mess. So that was a uh, mission impossible. And uh, I gave up and uh, well, you are cute, but no more water. I, I couldn't do it and then then a gentleman actually introduced this uh, spill out to me a few years ago during a taxi uh, foundation conference uh, a few years ago before the pandemic, we could still see uh, people in person. I remember a few years ago, uh, it was in the conference, he introduced this to me. But I found it's very hard to imagine how that works. And even though I saw him in person, he was right in front of me, but I found it was hard. However, I did order that from Amazon. And, um, and then when the thing arrived and then the first day I tried, I was amazed. I was really amazed at how that could do. And uh, I could use that uh, to feed my son. I could use that to drink coffee and I could use that to drink 
water you know i like hot water warm water and i like to bring my water from uh from my from table to microwave for example and uh, to avoid uh, spill water i could uh, use this little to the spill now so uh uh, Kate, uh, you you want to go to the next slide? That is uh, the video I want to show you guys. Uh, later on, just before we show the video, I want to tell you guys the first one is actually me now using this little device. You could tell, probably you could relate to the condition we have. And the second one is with a device. And uh, yeah, take a look at the second one. You can see how relaxed I am. Go ahead, Kate. Sorry, oops. Oop, hang on. We're gonna do this one first, sorry. Yeah, that's me spilling water. That's me now spilling water, so relaxed. Well, I, I love this little device and uh, I would recommend it to everyone. Right. Yeah, go ahead. And this one is a uh, grabber, is a uh, richer, you know, regardless uh, how you want to call it. Basically, um, I, I found this, uh, uh, also from uh, actually both eBay and uh, Amazon. And uh, I like this later device because it's very long. And uh, uh, when, when you look at the, the, the grabber, uh, just make sure you get a long one because that will help. If you only get a short one, um, maybe not so much. And also uh, this particular one, I it's very flexible. It's more like my my hand, but it's longer, you know. So I can reach things uh, behind the furniture or somewhere that I don't think I can reach by my hand, by my arm. But I could uh, use this uh, to to do it. And, uh, and even uh, I, I didn't do that. And uh, actually somebody told me uh, they actually use that for some outdoor garbage uh, picking. You know, there's a little bit of thing uh, on the floor. They were trying to do the good thing, pick up the garbage, but they don't want to do that by hands. So they could use this a little too. And uh, um, the only thing uh, I think because uh, I need this little device to reach things. So I've been doing a lot of uh, Googling and research. Uh, I found for a griber and a richer, usually it range between 15 to $25, yeah, 15 to $25. This is, uh, to 35, so sorry, let me repeat, 15 to $35. And this one is uh, 25. It's a little bit on the pricey end, but I do like the quality and I, it's very sturdy. And uh, Kate, you can go to the next slide. What I'm saying is sturdy, actually this one can show Joe, uh, I picked up a, a stuffed animal. It's pretty heavy, but I could do it.
uh, yeah. So uh, that's uh, the review uh, I put out there for two products. I like them and uh, I would love to share those with you. Thank you, Anna. Mm -hmm. And now over to Liam. Oops, sorry. Well, let's just watch this one more time <laughs> and then we'll move forward. There we go. It's a great demonstration. Yeah, we have the paper is uh, very light and very flexible. There we are. Over to you, Liam. Yeah, um, so I just kind of want to do a, a sort of uh, live sort of analysis of our, our sort of thought process that goes into recommending a product. Um, and it goes sort of compare um, two options. Uh, so here we have the Skinny Tumblr and the Ashland, the Indigo Ashland water bottle. Um, and so the, the safety tumbler is a uh, see-through. Um, the lid just pops on. You don't have to screw it in, um, which, which can be a lot easier for some. Um, the, the straw is, um, is, is hard and firm and not rubberized. Um, and there's a zapper on the straw. Um, and, and, you know, importantly too, it, it's cheaper. You, you get four of them for the $20. Um, and um, they, they are a lot lighter than the, um, the Candigo water bottle. Um, and then, so on the bottom, you have the um, Ashland water bottle and I have one right here that I use. Um, and, um, and, and um, the the screw the the top does screw in, um, which you know can be a barrier for some. Uh, the straw in here is um, attached to the lid, which makes in some water bottles the straw can fall out. Um, you know, when just the handle kind of put the straw back in. Um, the uh, the spout is rubberized. Um, which makes it easier to uh, drink it over some. Um, and, and you know, yeah, as a note too, yeah, um, I want to do this part too, that um, this part does collapse into the water bottle and you can kind of lock it there. And I do that while I, um, while, while I transfer, I can lay down horizontally while, while I transfer. Um, on, onto a bed or, or whatever. Um, and um, yeah, but you know, the, this button can be hard. And it's kind of a smaller button and uh, you know, it can be a tricky with some to press. Um, and so, yeah, just kind of want to go into right now our, our sort of thought process when, um, you know, comparing products and, and analyzing cost benefits there. Um, and also of note is this um, is, is a, uh, a 40 ounce uh, water bottle, so it can be really heavy um, when, when you fill it all the way up. Um, so that, that's something to think about too, and especially if you accidentally hit yourself in the head with it, which I've done multiple times um, that, uh, and it is not not a not a uh, fun thing. Um, and just to add, Liam, um, both uh, full length sort of video reviews that Liam has done for both of these products are available on our website um, and on YouTube. And he goes in and he demonstrates um, all of the buttons and things on those videos as well um, for more uh, for a longer description and review. Thanks, Kate. And yeah, all the products that we went, went over are on our website, along with many more things. And we go kind of further into thinking them over. I really recommend checking out Day and the Panda. And on that note, um, 
there are ways to get involved. Um, well, those are all the products actually that we wanted to share with you and, and show you videos of um, today. Um, we would love to stay in touch because we're still new and we're growing. Um, so we would love, you know, if you would like to sign up for our newsletter, you can do that right on our homepage of, of our website. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is really new. Um, uh, it's just on YouTube with uh, looking for Day Undefined. Um, if you're interested in recommending a product, reviewing a product, or even writing a blog, um, we would love your contributions. And there are ways to join our team, including with the review team. If any of this sounds interesting to you, you can email us at dayundefined at gmail.com or, um, or visit our website and there's a contact form there. Um, but we would uh, love to know if you're interested um, in, in, in any of these in any of these things. Um, and now um, we actually have one more thing before we go to um, questions. Um, and that's that we are um, hoping that you would take one to two minutes um, to fill out a feedback survey. Uh, I believe Stephanie or somebody from the NAF team is gonna drop that in the chat box. And it's a link and it will just take one to two minutes. And we have a couple of questions there. And Hannah is going to describe our giveaway um, that we're doing um, as part of that survey. Yes, uh, it's a very short survey, short and sweet. And uh, but let us know what you like and how you feel and everything. Really, uh, we open to anything and us appreciation. And I'd love to share the grabber with uh, people. And uh, again, I, I like them, I use them, and uh, I'd love to share. So on that survey, there's a question that if you'd like to enter a drawing for a reacher grabber, um, we will then um, randomly select five individuals and we will send them a reacher grabber. So you just have to let us know in the survey and uh, make sure to give us your email address if you do want to do that, or if you wanna sign up to our newsletter. Um, and then um, we will be in touch if you are draw, um, selected for um, one of the, the, the grabbers. And thank you so much. And I'm gonna pass it back to Liam uh, to close our final thoughts. <clears throat> we, we just wanted to thank you for um, joining us today um, and, uh, you know, this project, Day in the Vine, is by the disability community for the disability community. Um, and so you you really are our priority. And, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're all in, in this together. So we really appreciate all the uh, support and hearing um, about um, uh, the design of our, our sort of project here. Um, and thank you to DAF for allowing us to, to present. Um, and we're happy to answer any questions that you have about um, anything that you heard or, or whatever is on your mind. That's great. Well, I can uh, start us out with the Q&A portion um, of today's webinar, but first like to uh, thank you guys, Liam, Kate, and Hannah, for talking about the Day Undefined website. Um, I loved uh, watching the product demonstrations and hearing the, um, the reviews of, of those various products. So thank you uh, for all the information that you shared with us today. Also wanted to share with you some of the other comments that we received um, in the chat. Um, you know, folks said that this is a great idea. Um, and they love this. Um, so uh, some good feedback there. Um, there was an attendee that talked um, about coffee, about a Keurig machine being easy for coffee making. Um, and then regarding the grabbers, I think that that's great that you're doing that as a giveaway. There is um, an attendee that said that, that they have two grabbers um, and they um, got them from Harbor Flight Great. So um, there are folks out there finding that super helpful. And I could think about a ton of ways that I could have used, um, I can use a product like that. So thank you for talking about that. 
Um, our uh, first question is regarding um, the echo. Um, there is an attendee that has like an experience um, of it being frustrating uh, for smart speakers that don't understand you. Do you have any advice for that? I can, I can start us off there. Um, and and said, yeah, totally. Um, uh, I have the same problem. Um, yeah, um, and I have noticed that the uh, more recent models have a, a more uh, microphones um, in them to add. Uh, I think they, they might, may have some way to like help uh, a software engineer on the back end to, to uh, better understand you, but I, I believe they have more microphones on the more modern products. Um, one other thing that works for me is you can, uh, at least with um, um, Amazon Echo, you can change the wake word. Um, and sometimes saying Echo is easier for me than Alexa. Um, I think you can say computer or a few other, I think it's a Star Trek reference. But uh, anyway, you, you can say a few other uh, wicked words, so one of those might be uh, more accessible for you. Um, but I, I definitely just want to underscore that I hear you. I think that's great advice. Thanks, Liam, uh, for speaking to that experience. Um, and good to know that um, that functionality is getting better and better with every single model. Um, regarding the toothbrush holder, which there, um, that was a really cool product. Um, if you have an electric toothbrush, is a toothbrush holder large enough to fit uh, that type of toothbrush? That's a great question. And I'm not sure that we have a definitive answer for that, but what I can do is I'm gonna pull my slides down here and I'm gonna see, um, see if I can find the photo. I thought there might be an electric toothbrush in there. It okay. seemed like that might be a one. Yeah, like the- Maybe it's a toothbrush with a large grip on it. Um, it looks like, I think it just has a large grip on it actually. I don't think that is an automatic toothbrush, but the cup does look quite large, so it might fit. The question is, I don't know how much weight um, that cup supports, uh, if it will tip over or not. Um, that's a good question and maybe one that we could ask Erica if you want to email it to us at uh, dayundefined at gmail.com. We might be able to ask her. And then I, I just want to say that's a great question. And it kind of like underscores a lot of what we're trying to do. Then, um, you know, and, and all the, and the, you know, the nuance is so important when you, it's, it's really because like most of us do use, um, on, you know, like, uh, on like drink toothbrushes, um, because, you know, and they, they and can be easier than the manual sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, thinking about like, you know, the weight and sides of the toothbrush, um, and considering it, you know, holistically with this, with, you know, every day is, is a really, really great question and something um, we, we will try to uh, start to Erica about. Sounds good. We have a couple of folks really interested in um, being a reviewer, finding out how they can become a reviewer, um, any, how do they join the review team? Please email us um, with your interest at dayundefined at gmail.com and we will get back to you and be in touch and talk about your interest and, and what's involved in, in being a reviewer and sort of the different options um, for getting involved, but we would absolutely love it. Please email us. That's great. Yeah. As, a, uh, as a reviewer, I can speak for that. Uh, when I first uh, saw uh, Day Undefined, uh, my first impression was, well, 
I could relate to them because my day is undefined. And uh, then I, I sent an email to them and uh, Kate answered me and uh, she helped me uh, go through the process, how to become a reviewer. And uh, I really, really enjoyed the process because I think I can share, you know, and uh, share my experience. And also it's a two way. It's not just uh, me sharing. And also I'm listening to others, like uh, my team member, there's some products they, they like. And uh, I'd like to know, know why. Like Lori, the, the question you asked about the toothpaste dispenser, to be honest, uh, it was not something caught my eye first because I had no use of things like that. I have no problem uh, doing uh, tooth brushing. And uh, however, I when the, I listen, I heard a lot of similar questions from uh, from the support group. You know, we have the support group meeting, and the people ask for things like that. And now I know there are things like that existing, so I can share with them, and then they're happy with it. So that's my experience. And uh, I'd like to share with others. That's great, Hannah. Um, and folks are really talking about um, the grabbers. Uh, there's a lot of interest there. There's an attendee that said she uses kitchen tongs as a grabber just because it's short and a little bit lightweight. I thought that that was pretty good feedback. And another attendee is asking you where you purchased your, your grabber. Oh, uh, I actually I got it uh, from from eBay, and uh, I can I I can just uh, put the the eBay uh, store uh, the link uh, in the end. Uh, I think you probably will send out the presentation. Uh, I will add uh, that information to that. Great. And, yeah. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, eBay is another um, place. I, I, you know, often forget about that now that we have Amazon. Uh, yeah, I, I know. And uh, if you, you, you don't mind, I, I, I want to share another uh, experience. And just my personal experience, I went through eBay, I went through Amazon, when I put in adaptive. And I could uh, actually saw a lot of products. However, are they really good? Uh, are they really good for me? I I don't know. And uh, especially like one item, uh, probably is not very expensive. But you, if you start trying different items, it could be pretty expensive. And uh, so I, I think, uh, you know, to have a personal experience is uh, more important than just uh, Googling adaptive uh, items. Yeah, absolutely. Having these um, lived experiences with these products is so helpful. Um, and live experience from other folks with ataxia, um, so helpful, absolutely. There's some folks asking about like some other products that weren't demonstrated here to see if you've um, had any um, experience or product reviews on items such as lifts for a car or how you get heavy items in and out of a car. Any um, tips for that or products that you are aware of that would be helpful for that function? Um, sorry, Liam, before you answer, could I just um, ask Stephanie or somebody to drop the survey link in the chat box again? I think there are a few people who have it's gotten kind of lost in the in the chat. So if we could just put it back in the bottom, that would be great. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, we've gotten about four, uh, 50 comments since the survey was popped in the chat. So I think that's a great idea. Uh, thank you for the question. I, um, 
I uh, I don't drive, don't have a car, so um, it's not really something in my uh, per perfume, but um, I mean, yeah, and definitely uh, is rightfully concerned for a lot of people, and and that's exactly the kind of thing that we want to um uh, grow into being able to answer those sorts of questions. Um, you know, from different uh, uh, perspectives. <clears throat> and just to add on to what Liam said, we would we are very interested in helping to find products in answer to your questions. So um, one thing that we'll do is we'll save the comments in the chat box and look through them and look for the products that you're saying. I saw somebody asked for a high quality bag for the back of their wheelchair. Um, those are products that we can uh, go out to our review team and ask about or um, try to find some and, and do reviews of them. If you don't um, necessarily, if you have more than one item that you're interested in, please email us um, as well. Um, please don't hesitate to email us if, if you have ideas um, for products that you might want to see on here. Um, we are really focusing on everyday products. We're not getting into sort of um, technical equipment right now um, and sort of um, power chairs and wheelchairs and mobility devices. Um, so just so that you know, um, that's not right now in our in our sort of scope of products. That's great to know. And thanks for letting folks know how they can reach out if they are interested in a product that's not yet reviewed or listed on your website. Lots of interest there. Um, there's a lot of um, comments here about abilities expos. Those are uh, great events to go to to get some ideas um, about uh, products as well. Um, so there's a lot to look at at, at those events. Um, folks have posted in the chat about the upcoming new uh, abilities expo in New Jersey. So that is a place to get a lot of product ideas. Thanks for everyone that mentioned that. Um, there's a lot more comments with great feedback about the usefulness of this webinar. So thanks again, again, guys. Um, we do have a question here, um, about, um, the tumblers that you had mentioned, the one with the straw, there's a question about how to wash, um, the straws, um, and another attendee suggested vinegar, any su other suggestions on how to wash those straws? Yeah, uh, that that's a great question. Um, yeah, I I friend uh, vinegar does work. Um, I I believe on Amazon or probably at a hardware store you can buy, um, you know, straw cleaners which are you know, essentially a pipe cleaner that you just are able to sort of. Yeah, and get inside of the straw, but um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a really real uh, problem, and uh, you know that's why I really only drink water out of out of those water bottles. So that, um, cleaning them is um, not not as as much of a task. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great question. Very good. Um, so um, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, there's also a couple other folks that were asking for um, the survey. So a lot of people interested in the survey. Um, some folks putting in suggestions about products that they have found helpful. Um, Robert said he's been using pen again uh, for his handwriting. Um, so that's an, a suggestion out there. Um, and other suggestions, um, folks looking for ideas on um, applying shower gel and um, washers in the shower. Any suggestions on that function? From the tube, uh, or there are things that you can attach to the wall um, for shower gels, but sorry, Liam, I cut you off there. Oh, no, I, I, I think I also, I mean, I, I just wanted to um, 
say like how, how dangerous showering and bathing can be um and yeah how uh, um you know i have not had a good like um product that like has suction cups or something to the shower um that i can lean on um but um yeah no no um i mean i i, I really think that um what i would recommend it's the main anything like permanently if things is the showers um especially because like in dropping something it's on the pick pick up and um with the taxi you I, I tend to put my weight on anything that i think could all be and um, sometimes that and cannot and that can be uh, really tricky. Um, you know, I, I was thinking, I do also want to say that um, I, I feel like I, I'm, I'm trying to view these products, but I, you know, you, you, everyone listening is as much of an expert as I am. Um, and this project, Day and Divine is totally collaborative and, and we value what you think is um, is accessible um, and I have some idea what works for me but um, I, you know we, we, we strive for a really broad input so I just want to state that. That's great advice um, and uh, thanks Kate for popping up the contact slide there was a request for that um, so folks can see the contact slide there. Um, Lori, can I also add that um, we are making the slides available after the webinar and all of the links work. So um, that's why there are links embedded in this presentation. Even though you can't click them now, you should be able to click them in the PDF um, that, they, that is shared afterward. Yeah, I'm glad that you pointed that out. Um, so folks will be able to Click those links once they get the copy of those slides. Yeah, uh, in, in the chat uh, room, uh, I actually put in the eBay link uh, there already, but uh, if it get lost uh, in the chat, and then it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll provide that uh, in the in the presentation as well. And then when we send out the presentation, you get the link. For, for the eBay, for the grabber. Well, thanks so much for doing that, Hannah. That's very helpful. No problem. And uh, yeah, I, I think that there are a lot of interest uh, uh, in uh, being like review and provide some products that they feel very helpful. And that's very valuable for us. Uh, if you want, you can, uh, share that information with us in the survey or in the email we provided in our contact. And just let us know if you like something, we are really, really open to, to that, to take a look and uh, to see if that help, you know, we'll, we'll love, love, love that, that uh, thing. Well, thank you so much, Hannah. Um, and I believe that we're at the top of the hour now. Um, so that is all the time that we have for today's webinar. Um, as we had mentioned um, in the chat, I believe, but maybe not out loud, a recording of this webinar will be available in addition to the link to the slides that I saw in the chat. Um, and that'll be available on NES website and on NEF's YouTube channel as well um, in the next couple of days. Um, so thank you again to our speakers, Liam, Kate, and Hannah. This was so helpful. And thank you to all the attendees that joined us here today. And we look forward to seeing you um, at our next webinar. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.